What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Loop Hero, episode number 15 with me, Gamer Noob. Let's get this show on the road, see what we need. We definitely need some medals. Need some uh, of the orbs of expansion as well for the warehouse at some point. Warehouse is not really a top of my priority. Intel Center and Smelter are my priority, which means we need metal. Um, the easiest way I've found to get metal is normally... I want to see what this upgrade costs. I'm going to upgrade it. Congratulations, hero. These new cauldrons will make life better, not just for you, but for the whole camp. You can write down a new recipe to celebrate. Mix four chopped potatoes, half a grated cheese wheel, a pot of sour cream, and then bake for an hour. Only fried eggs are easier to cook than this. Nice. Now we get a little bit more HP, which is nice, and also we still only need metal, which is good. Okay, that's what I figured. I figured we could do that and still only need metal. I think we're going to go for the intel center here. Um... The one I found the easiest to get metal with is honestly the rogue, just because when he gets all that stuff at the same time, he gets a lot of metal when he, when he gets all of this stuff at the same time. Let's see if we want to change up anything. I really like ruins. I don't have a problem with ruins at all. <clears throat> and I really like blood grove and grove. Road lantern's nice. Gotta take those. All right, I mean, I pretty much like everything we got going on. I just am uh, struggling to actually make it somewhere most of the time. And the final boss, or the second boss, seems really difficult to get to. In my opinion. Maybe it's really easy to get to and I'm just being a baddie. Which could very well be the case. <clears throat> what do we get? Rations, nice. And I love the runes because it gives you random loot, so you can get a lot of loot that you just don't get elsewhere. Which is good. I love the music, man. The music is poggers. Smack them down, my friend. Also, the double loot you get from that is always nice, too. Putting something next to it and you get loot from it. <clears throat> and our first amount of loot. Let's see what we got. Ten of Asian is always nice. The max HP to all. 7 to 11 damage. Right. That's all that is. No, I really want to lock the intel center because I heard that here the gold cards are pretty cool to use. And I'd like to start seeing some gold cards. Something new would be nice, you know? Get him. Nice. Living fabric. Or or orb of evolution. Or herb? I was trying to say herb of evolution. It's not an herb of evolution. It's an orb. Specifically an orb. Plus two, plus two more. This is just plus two. Four, right I'm gonna hold out and not use the rocks I'm gonna use the mountains instead and I'm just gonna save the rocks and let them go over I just want to use only mountains um, let's keep them like a little bit spread out at the very least I just don't want like a bunch of back-to-back -back fights and maybe I'm crazy I mean it's probably fine Let's read this actually. Plus four HP for each adjacent rocker mountain. So that gives, and this gives plus two HP off base, but then also plus two more HP for every adjacent rocker mountain. So this gives, currently it gives four HP. If I push this here, it would give four HP, unless this counts as adjacent for it. But I don't think so. I need to pause and look at this, obviously. Mistakes were made. I don't know, I kinda, I'm just kind of experimenting with new things, like are mountains better than rocks, or rocks better than mountains? I think mountains are overall better than rocks. But I'm not 100% on that, you know? Also see, look, we already got some stable metal going, which is beautiful. 
And we're even working on some more. Nice. Get them. Knock those slimes out of existence. Wouldn't mind a village so I can start getting some quests going. That'd be cool. You know what? I'm probably going to put the rocks over here, actually. Because they do give that base XP. Alright. Road Lantern. I want this where I'm going to be putting my zombie thing. Where am I going to be putting my zombie thing? I'm going to put it here. Let's see what new loot we got to work with. 12% evasion seems fine by me. Um, I'll take the damage to all over this, the raw damage there. And we'll take the crit damage as well. <coughs> what a crit, just made him sit down instantly. Also, I think these guys give good, good XP comparatively. Like, the slimes don't give good XP, but the blood worms, I think, do. Here we go. I should have put that there. Oh, well. Mistakes were made. Yeah, see, we're going to get a level up on this lap. This loop. Not this lap. Don't call it a lap. The game's called Loop Hero. You can't call it Lap Hero. It's a Loop Hero. Come on game gonna get mad at you. Call it a lap. There it is. I really like old scars. It's really nice in my opinion. Um, if I put the village here... Then I can hit this and this, because that's nice. Alright, more upgrades. Okay, let's see this. You're getting replaced. You're getting replaced. You're getting replaced. And... That's okay, that's all that gets replaced for now. <clears throat> Keep taking them out, you're doing great. I'd like to see one village though, not gonna lie. One village would make me happy. I mean, 72 groves is fine as well, I guess. Oh, my first ranged battle. As long as these guys don't evade too often, which of course they are now, but as long as they don't evade too often, they're not too bad. Because then you don't have to deal with anything like scary if like you end up having a ranged fight against them. Because even if they evade a lot and you just melee fight them all the time, it's fine. But once they start doing that ranged stuff, they get a little... They get a little annoying. They get a little annoying. And I honestly, you guys might care how long it takes me to do the second boss. I personally don't. I don't mind just building up my stuff. Pause, please. Around the world. So that's... Still... It's less. That's less evasion. You yeah, nothing really good on that pass-through. Um, I am just going to go ahead and... Pop this, by the way. We did get a vampire mansion. Down on damage, not very good. Up on damage. Very nice. I'm not just building evasion, don't mind me. Doing that so I don't I was trying to do all that so I don't get lose the oblivion basically, and there we go, I didn't. meadows at any point <clears throat> excuse me I have 50% evasion I'd like to dodge more thank you 
Yeah, I really like the runes. Mostly just because they give that nice XP and item bonus. Okay. Well, we can do this now. And now it's like super like less unit spawn there, which is really good. All right, you need to stop. You need to start making sure they die. Otherwise, we're gonna start dying. <clears throat> Gives them double the chance. There we go. That's not what? Village, Empire Mansion, Oblivion, Wh Wheat Fields. Just do that. Alright. Now we got a nice. Thing going on. Where only one guy spawns. Also, both of them evaded, and that's really awkward, because then we get that annoying fight. Oh, what was that? Pitiful remains. It's more of an afterlife. That would spawn a bandit camp, so let's not be stupid this time and not spawn a bandit camp. When we don't want to. We haven't actually got harpies yet. <clears throat> we do have gargoyles coming out though. But that's where you wanted to go, Mr. Gargoyle. You insist. Alright, we're gonna have harpies coming out now. Giant mountain. Uh, so that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 16, 17, 18, 19. We're good. Alright, let's see what we got. We got a little 9 chest piece, which is a huge increase in health. Both of those take away a lot of evasion, but they do decently amount of more damage. Oh, not a lot of more damage, actually. And no new boots. Okay, continue. Remember, we're really just looking for metals this run. If we... If we feel the need to retreat, we'll just retreat. It's no big deal to us. But if we don't have to, then it would be nice. To be able to just keep going. Other treasury. Oh, we got an antique wardrobe. Plus 5 HP every time the hero equips a new item. That'd be interesting. So you just throw everything on and throw your good items on last. Huh. What an interesting thought. Only one of them dipped that time, that's not bad. I almost feel like the rogue should fight against spiders. Oh, of course they uh, evaded and now we've got this huge fight. Definitely meant to put those scorch worms a little bit farther apart. That is a scary place now, especially when they're all evading over and over again. Yay, evasion! And not evasion, but not dying. Which is not evading, but you know. Just die. Everything die. Looking frightening. Stop hitting me, he's rude. He's not nice. I still
I'll need to be one more loop after this for that to become a good village. We have to make our choice on if we think we can make it around or not. It's a lot more damage. I guess we'll lose the level 5 dirk there. Um, level 9 boots, go! I don't know if we're making it through this lap. Ruin Alley seems scary. I don't like Ruin Alley. Honestly, Ruin Alley might get might get oblivionated. I think that's what's coming up. Get the get the wood at the very least. This is not going to be a fun fight. I can tell you that much right now. It's fine, they won't spawn by the time. Whew, at least we evaded. Wait, this is not that bad, because they're not ranging. Okay, that's right. It's when they start ranging is when they're bad. Nice level up. We'll take the 3 HP after a kill, just because we might need the HP to make it. Alright, you need to make sure neither of these guys get away, and then we'll be fine, I think. Nice. Neither of them making it out, we're happy. Ooh, we got a jewelry. Ones as well. Don't mind if I do. Now we think about if we can make another lap or not, and I don't think that would be a smart idea. I think we just take our stuff, go home, improve our camp, and call it a decent run, right? Maybe. Right, we'll see what we got at the very least. That's just more damage. Evasion, but less HP. I like it. That's a lot more damage. I'm gonna replace that one. Um. I'm gonna pop this and see what we get. I think we're gonna call it. I think we're gonna call it. I just think it's time, you know? Yep. Let's dip. We got two new things to play around with as well. And we get to build some stuff up, which is always nice. Intel Center, please and thank you. Uh, sure, we'll put you there. Okay, here's what we managed to learn. The world consists of darkness and fragments of your memories. For quite a short period of time, nothing is stable. But this is not completely true. There are some key memories that drastically change everything. By keeping a log of your expeditions, we're adding pieces of the picture together. It would be much easier if everything wasn't so shapeless. Remember, any knowledge is priceless, so don't forget to share it. We'll decide how to use it best together. <clears throat> Encyclopedia unlocked. This is a beautiful thing. It gives you all the information on everything and how to make things. It's just beautiful. I love it. We're gonna go through and make sure that we take all this out. Which is Palace. Oh yeah, that's from the, uh, the one guy. That's right. 
and then all the units. And it tells you what resources you get, which is nice. We're just gonna go through and what do mosquitoes get? Living fragment, the lich, and then resources. Actually, missing one that we have never seen, and then the uh, whatever these are called, the supplies that we go with. That's right, plus five time every time. Well, I mean we're full, but that's okay because like yeah, we don't have any more to do anyway. <clears throat> so let's see what all we got. Library requires the orbs of uh, whatever those are that I'm out of. Like crafting or whatever. Any more metal for the smelter? Boom. We have found a golden card. Finally. We get plus three HP for every enemy with a soul kill. It removes HP bonus from armor. Grants you one resurrection. I love it. And also we get the desert. And sand. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I'm so happy that we've actually added some new stuff to the deck. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to give it a like. If you've got anything to say, go to the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the bell. It helps me out a ton. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.